Standing up in this one. Wearing a Santa hat. I feel kind of stupid. <laughs> nice. So it's almost Christmas. Ah! If you're feeling pressured to give Christmas gifts that are expensive this year, don't feel pressured because it's the thought that counts, isn't it? In all seriousness, Christmas puts a lot of pressure on people to buy expensive gifts that people don't really care about or need and it's a little bit fucked up. Yeah. Christmas has gone from a religious celebration where people would gather with families and have a big feast to a time where businesses make massive profits off of parents that are buying their screaming kids like masses amounts of presents. And these screaming kids are screaming because Santa has bought them the wrong colour of iPhone 5C. It's just fucked up. So I know a lot of people that love Christmas, then I know a lot of people that really hate Christmas. Like a couple of my friends, including Ross that you've met before, um, really just don't like Christmas. They really hate it. Christmas dinners? Like yeah. <laughs> Christmas dinner. You get to peg the fuck out. It's awesome. It's all the Christmas Christmas things. Except for Santa coming down your chimney. That's creepy. Buying gifts for friends can be as difficult as, I don't know, stroking the spine of a porcupine. The worst gift that I've ever been given is Link's Attract for women, because my gran doesn't know what the difference between Link's men and women are, which is kind of weird. And that leads us quite nicely on to couples, because couples feel a lot of pressure to buy each other really expensive gifts, or lots of gifts, like diamonds and shit. Not actual shit. That would be... That would be horrible. Unless you're into that, I'm not going to judge. I'm going to start this segment a little bit like Idea Channel. No copyright infringement, mate. Here's an idea. We are all in relationships. Cue the weird idea channel thing. Alright. Relationships as a whole are pretty messed up. They're kinda like, I don't know, people seem to think the relationship is one thing, but it's not. Relationship is literally anything to do with two or more people. In fact, the Oxford English Dictionary defines a relationship as noun. The way in which two or more people or things are connected, or the state of being connected, i.e. the study will assess the relationship between unemployment and political attitudes. That's the first definition, so that's quite a wide range, it gives a couple more. The state of being connected by blood or marriage, which is the second one. The third one, the way in which two or more people or groups regard or behave towards each other, that's the third one. And the last one, which is the most used or most well-known sort of description as a relationship, an emotional and sexual association between two people, that's last. You can literally have a relationship with anyone. Like that guy that served you at Tesco. You have a relationship with him. Or the guy behind the camera. You have a relationship with that guy. Hi. That's him. Not in a gay way. Relationships thing generally has nothing to do with anything. That's just something that pisses me off. It's just something that I want to get across because I do. That's it. There was no real meaning behind it, I just wanted to say it. So, yup, that's my opinion on the matter. Like this, give it a thumbs up, and share it if you want. And subscribe if you want to see more of this beautiful face. And also because I wish you a happy Christmas, and 